for a new fun-filled platforming game? If you had to guess, then check out my review of Sir Love Lot coming up next on Mumble. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumble. So today's episode of Mumbles, we have a quick gaming review coming up for you of a game called Sir Love Lot. Guys, Sir Love Lot is a cute little 2D platforming game with one simple goal in mind: finding Sir Love Lot, the love of his life, each day. That's right, a new princess must be impressed on each level each day. How do you impress any girl? By giving her flowers, of course. In this game, you are tasked with getting the flower in each course and bringing it back to the princess. You have to jump and dash and try not to hit those evil saw blades or evil enemies that stand in your way as you get this flower. That's the game, guys. It's basically a Meat Boy slash Celeste type game where it's all about running, jumping, and dodging obstacles and enemies. Nothing we haven't seen before. One thing that is important about this game is this game does have amazing controls. They're very accurate and easy to use controls. So I wanted to make special note of that because a platforming game can be made or broken by bad or good controls. This thing also does have a decent soundtrack to it that I do like. It's not the best in the world, but it is decent. Gameplay wise, guys, this thing does have about two to three hours of gameplay content in it. Completionist will get a little bit more because there is additional things you can collect on each level But for the most part in these 40 plus levels you will get two to three hours worth of content Now the other thing I want to mention is unlike some platformers out there that basically leave, leave the player helpless to jump over things In this game you do have what I'm going to refer to as a love gun now basically using this love gun you can kill enemies and They go poof and then you have an open area to jump or run or skip or play through whatever it is you want to call it but that is basically what you have here and I love when a game gives you the option of doing something like this rather than just making you always avoid enemies guys now we come to the cons and the first con is that when you kill things in this game and die they don't respond so it makes the game a little bit on the easy side and I don't know that I was a big fan of that I kind of like challenging my platforming games so for me this was kind of a negative thing that occurred Second con is that this game isn't anything new that we haven't seen before. We've all heard of Meat Boy, we've all heard of Mario, we've all heard of Celeste. We've all heard of those kind of games that are great platforming games. This game doesn't bring anything new to the table. The final con is that stages fail to differentiate themselves. When you go through each level, at times I found myself being like, man, I can't tell the difference between one level and then the, the next level. It just kind of all ran together for me. Nothing really made the stages stand out, so I'm listing it here as a con. Overall, on today's Bumbles Review, Sir Love Lot gets a 5 out of 10 from me. Guys, I love platforming games, but I like platforming games that do something unique. And this game, while it's well made, has great controls, and has kind of cute artwork and a cute kind of story to it, just didn't do enough to differentiate itself from other platforming games out there. So I can only give it a 5 out of 10 on today's Bumbles Review. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Sir Love Lot. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those butting, butting, butting. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.